Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're gonna make Instant Pot Cheesy Chicken and Rice. So I'm Kristen. I'm Camille. And every Monday we share an Instant Pot recipe with you guys. So if you are new to the Instant Pot or you wanna try some new recipes, make sure that you like and subscribe. So besides all the videos that we share on YouTube, we also have a website called sixsisterstuff.com where we share thousands of recipes. I think we're up to 3,000 or so recipes of simple recipes just like this, tons more Instant Pot recipes, tons of family dinner ideas, just any way that we can help you get dinner on the table, we're gonna make it happen. Really, we're busy moms. We all, yeah. I think with six of us together, how many kids do we have? 18. 18 and, yeah. And counting. Yeah, more are gonna be counting. Yeah. But we have a lot of kids, and so really our goal with this website was just to make life easy, simple and easy for moms, yep. and put dinner on the table. Yeah. All right. Should we jump into this Let's one? Let's do this. This is one of our favorites on oh our website. And we put it on the website not long ago and it exploded. Everyone so loved it. We're showing you just some simple ways to even make it easier than the recipe that's on the website. Exactly. So here's our shortcuts. Let's do it. What are we starting with? All right, let's, I'm gonna have you cut up the chicken. Okay. So we're gonna have like one and a half pounds to two pounds yep. of chicken. chicken. And I like to use the tenderloins because it just makes them cook a little bit faster. And, and they're nice because they're small, so they're easy to cut up. And lots of times they've already been, um, the, like the fat's been, they're trimmed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So a lot of times they're already trimmed, makes it really easy to cut it up. Awesome. I'm just cutting it into some kind of bite-sized pieces. Oh, that's perfect, especially for kids. All right, so yep. she's cutting that, I'm gonna push the saute button right here. So when you push the saute button, right now it says, there's a little button that says less, normal or more. We're just gonna keep it at normal because it's fine. All right, so saute, then it's going to beep for you. After you push the saute button, it's gonna start heating up. Once it gets hot, I kind of just test it a little bit. Once it's hot, then I add my oil and other things. How long so. does it take to get hot? Sometimes like two minutes, sometimes like okay. five. Lots just of times, depends. even before it's hot, I'll just start cooking. Yeah. I'm in a hurry, okay. it is what it is. Right, this is real life. Exactly. All right, so once it's heated up, we're just gonna add, what, about a tablespoon, two tablespoons yep. of olive oil. Yep. We're just gonna drizzle that into the top of the pot. Now I like when my oil gets hot, and then I do a trick and I lift my pot up, and just kind of wiggle my oil around so it covers all the bottom of my Instant Pot. Well, there you go. There you go. Kristen's fine. Fancy. Instant pot tricks. <laughs> That's why we call her the Instant Pot Master. There we go. Once the oil is heated up, ready to go, Camille is gonna add our chicken. Yep. You ready? Kristen gets scared to touch raw chicken, so that's why I'm doing it. I appreciate that. If your oil's hot, it should sizzle at this point. Yes. Ours is still warming up, but that's okay. You can hear it a little bit. Now, this makes a lot of rice <laughs> and other things, so this is a lot of chicken. If you have yeah. a smaller family, you could even cut this recipe in half or even in fourths. Totally. I mean, you just make sure you cut all the ingredients down, but the timing will be the same. You cook it for the same amount. All right, so once the chicken starts to cook on the bottom, you kind of just flip it around a little bit. I kind of stir mm. as I go. Is that horrible? No, I, that's what I do too, just to make sure that it all gets evenly cooked. I'm right. gonna throw the onion in there too. Please do. Just to add some more flavor. We'll let that cook in the oil. Nice. I think that's one of my favorite smells is cooking chicken and onions together. Well, let's make it even better and add some garlic. All right, how much garlic are we gonna add? I think just a teaspoon, or what, two cloves? Sorry, I'm just grabbing a spoon. No, it's fine. Yeah, two cloves, that sounds good. So we're just using jarred garlic. Um, a half teaspoon of this equals a clove. This is one of my favorite shortcuts, oh. so you don't have to chop fresh garlic. I think all six of us I know. use that shortcut. We love it. I don't like pressing my garlic. Yep. Okay, so the seasonings we're gonna add, I'm just doing like a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. You can totally eyeball this. Don't feel like you need to measure it out. You can go Rachel Ray style, pour it in your hand and then dump it in. <laughs> we're not fancy like that. Yep. If you wanna add other seasonings that you like, you could. You could do some Italian seasoning. You yeah. could do a little bit more like garlic powder if you love the taste of garlic. I mean, however you like to season it, you can add a little more. Totally works. We love like a little bit more salt, so mm -hmm. I usually add about a tablespoon of salt into this recipe. You to, do? I do, I love salty things. Mm. I didn't know that about you. Yep, learn something new every day. Yep. 
All right, so once the chicken kind of has some browning around the edges, I right. mean, you can cook this as much or as little as you want. It just really is to seal in the flavor, kind of make the chicken have some added moisture, I yeah, would say. Yeah, and I think a little bit of flavor too, it gives yep. it some saute. 100%. It. So now, from this point, it's just kind of a dump and go. Right. So yes, we're adding in good. two cups of rice. Now in the recipe, it says it a little bit differently, but yeah, we're yeah. showing you this is the simple way to make it dump and this go. It's like the dump and go yep. version. Totally. Yep. All right. So I'm doing two cups of white rice. If you want to, you can rinse the rice before you dump it in. Totally up to you. Yeah, but I'm just going to go ahead. We throw don't judge you either way if you rinse your rice or not. Do your There's own no thing. judging. Okay, and then I'm going to do about two cups of chicken broth. Nice. Just kind of pour that right in. There we go. All right, so the secret when you're cooking you rice in the Instant Pot is you want to make sure that the rice, every single kernel of rice touches the liquid, because if it doesn't, you're going to have some hard pieces of rice there. So hmm. that's what we're going to do. Didn't know that. Now you know. Okay, I've got half a cup of water going in too. Okay. Just some added moisture for that rice. Now I've got a can of cream of chicken soup. If you want to, if you're feeling super domestic, you can make your own. But for simplicity, I just use a can of this. You can get, um, they make a healthier option. Reduced fat Yeah, kind. reduced fat, which works great. It's not coming out. There we go. Okay. So add that in there. And then the last thing we are gonna throw in is a bag of frozen vegetables. And they are still frozen. They are. So. Which I think works better because you're gonna cook all the vegetables, rice and chicken all at the same time. Yep. So I think frozen vegetables works better because then they'll cook. Yeah, they won't be super they mushy. They won't be soggy. Yep. So All right, I'll dump just those dump in. it in. Yep. Give it a good mix. I'm just gonna mix it around, make sure all the rice is covered by the liquid. And I think we're good to go. Good to go. So we have our lid now, we're all ready to go. Now remember, while we were putting this together, it's still on saute, which is okay. I guess I should put the lid on correctly, huh? Okay, so we're putting the lid on. We're gonna turn this little knob to sealing, not venting. Make sure I can see this here. Now, because it is on saute, first you have to push cancel. So you're gonna push the keep warm cancel button just to turn it all the way off. Then you're gonna push the manual button. Now, if you don't have a manual button, you'll have a pressure cook button. It's the same thing, manual, pressure cook, you're good. All right, so then we're gonna go up to six minutes. Now we can do six minutes because our chicken is little. It's already been sauteed. The rice only takes about six to seven-ish minutes to cook and the vegetables only take about two minutes to cook, but they still taste good together. Yeah. So it's all kind of the same amount of time. That's why you can all cook it together. Awesome. All right, so you heard it little beep. Once it says on, you can just walk, walk away. away. So it's all done cooking. We cooked it for about six minutes. You can go up to seven if you want, but because it's done, we're gonna turn it over to a quick release. Here we go. <laughs> Once all the pressure's out, then you can open the lid. Just beware of the steam, because it gets toasty. All right, so if you can see this. Now it looks like there's a lot of liquid on top, but once you mix it around, there's some rice that still needs a little bit of liquid and it will all work out together. Yep, it all evens out. Exactly. So while you're doing that, you want me to dump the cheese in? Yeah. So you're gonna add, is it one cup? Yeah, one cup of cheddar cheese. One cup cheese. of shredded cheddar cheese. You can shred your own if you want, or you can buy pre-shredded, shredded. doesn't really matter. We always tend to buy the shredded because it just makes it's life fast. Yep. easy. But I did, totally. I did notice if you buy the block cheese and shred it yourself, mm -hmm. it melts a little bit easier. So much easier, mm -hmm. especially in this recipe. But yeah. either way, you're gonna be just fine. Exactly. If you want more cheese, to make it more cheesy, feel free to add more. That's what we did too. So after we did individual servings, we put a little more cheese on. On each one? Yep. It's a great idea. Yeah, that's what I like. the kids. Let this me. is super kid friendly. My kids loved this. Mine too. And like you said, it makes a ton. Like we ate it for lunches all week long. Right? This We're going on third meal of this. I mean, it's just the sweet. It's food. awesome. I know. It's, it's a, one of our favorites now. All right. Okay. What do you think, looking good? Looks good. Okay, should we plate it up? Yep, so at this point, you could feed it to your family. It is gonna be super hot for a minute, but mm. it's delicious, it's cheesy, it's comfort food. I don't think you could ask for anything more. And then like you were saying, if you wanna throw on a little bit of extra cheese, 
especially when it's hot. There we go. We'll get all melty on there. If you want to get fancy, you could pop throw on some fresh parsley. But there you go. Super Dinner simple. is served. There we go. So we're just wondering, what's your favorite food in the Instant Pot? I love comfort food like this. I love to do soups, but I'm always looking for new ideas. So leave a comment below, let us know what your favorite thing is to make in your Instant Pot. There we go. And if you need more Instant Pot ideas, don't forget to check us out every Monday. We're sharing an Instant yep. Pot recipe. And of course, if you subscribe, you'll be able to see our notifications a little more. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Bye.